Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have any of you guys heard about green or clean fragrances? In today's video, we are going to sample clean fragrances from the Clean Reserve line by the New York-based brand called Clean Beauty Collective. I have for you today six fragrances uh, from this travel layering collection. I purchased this from Sephora during the last VIB sale. I've seen these fragrances in local stores, but I never really took a closer look. My interest in clean fragrances was picked when a subscriber asked me if I can recommend clean fragrances as she is allergic to components in perfumes. I realized I don't know of any. And then I remember trying out products with a Clean at Sephora stump. Clean at Sephora is formulated without a list of over 50 ingredients, including sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and more. Some of the fragrance brands in this category are, of course, Clean Reserve, The Seven Virtues, I will be reviewing a sample set from this brand as well soon, by Rosie Jane, Maison Louis Marie, Heretic, Ellis Brooklyn, and Fresh. But before I get to sampling, if you enjoy fragrance-related videos, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, share this video to your fragrance-loving friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, click the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Going back to this set, this whole set has uh, six fragrances, and this retails for 48 US dollars or 68 Canadian dollars. This company is all about sustainability, eco consciousness, uh, recyclability, transparency, vegan, and cruelty free. They partner with EarthDay.org um, and create fragrances around a theme. For Earth Day 2021, it was all about saving the butterflies, and Lush Fleur is the scent created to commemorate this. Uh, and in keeping with their clean and green campaign, when you visit their website, there is a list of ingredients and substances deemed unclean or unsafe or harmful to humans. There is a whole entire list of these substances and this list is pretty long and a lot of these ingredients are not only found in fragrances but cosmetics and body care products in general. And if you're curious to know more about the substance, for example, parabens, you can click to expand and there in the drop down, you can learn more about the ingredient or ingredient category, what they are, where they are found, and why avoid them. Pretty useful, huh? So this is particularly useful among persons with hypersensitivity to any or all of these substances. They made it easy for us. Okay then, so these fragrances are legitimately clean and safe. But how do they smell like? Let's start with their newest 2021 release. This is a fresh floral fragrance in Eau de Parfum concentration and this is called Lush Fleur with top notes of raspberry, bergamot, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are damask rose, gardenia, and jasmine. Base notes are musk, moss, vanilla, and amber. This is a very fresh, zesty rose fragrance, energizing and sparkling. This will instantly give you happy vibes. The zest is present throughout the life of this fragrance, preventing this from going full on floral. You might still like this even if you don't like floral fragrances too much. Lasting power is about two hours tops, after which this is a very faint skin scent on me. Wear this after shower to prolong the after shower clean feel. Top up the entire day to keep smelling clean and fresh. By the way, the fragrances in this line are meant to be layered. So depending on your mood and the vibe you're going for, um, you have the liberty to mix and match them. My favorite scent to layer with this is Skin to add some warmth to this fragrance as well as to amp up on that vanilla. Next up is Skin. Kin. This is a floral woody mask in Eau de Parfum concentration. This perfume is inspired by the feeling of a warm embrace and a loving touch. This launched in 2016. Top notes are bergamot, orange blossom, and honeysuckle. Middle notes are warm skin accord, vanilla orchid, and sun-kissed peony. Base notes are salted praline, fresh masks, and white cedar wood. To me, this is predominantly a vanilla fragrance, which hints at gourmand. I honestly don't get much of the other notes listed. I guess that's the whole idea of skin, as the name implies. The company suggests to pair this with Rain or Aqua Neroli. I tried them one is to one 
rain and aqua neroli overpower this scent too much so spray more of these than any other fragrance you want to layer this with maybe two to three sprays more for every one spray of another fragrance this will add some warmth and depth and a cozy touch to any fragrance because of that vanilla by itself this is more of a skin scent and after two hours it's barely there on my skin Next is Aqua Neroli. This is a 2018 release in Eau de Parfum Concentration, inspired by essences of Mediterranean citrus, the breeze, and deep blue sea. Top notes on this are bergamot, mandarin, and Sicilian orange. Middle notes are jasmine, neroli, and orange blossom. The base has aqua mask, amber, and ambrette. This is not incredibly unique. This smells like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino or Blue Sky Neroli by Clinique and any other similar fragrances. This is very unisex smelling, fresh out of the shower scent type of perfume. Pairing this with skin will give this a feminine edge and uh, pairing this with rain gives this a masculine touch. Radiant Nectar. This is a 2020 release for Earth Day 2020, centering on saving the bees, hence the name Nectar. This is an eau de parfum categorized as a floral mask. Top notes on this are ambrette seeds and pear nectar. Middle notes are orris butter, carrot seeds, and tobacco flower. Base notes are white cedarwood, ambroxan, and liquid mask. This interesting set of notes equals an interesting composition. This is my favorite in this set. There's no honey or nectar in the notes but the scent creates this illusion of dipping your nose in honey i struggle with honey in fragrances but here it's done so well i like it this fragrance can hold its own but i also love this layered with skin or rain the combination smell fantastic i heard rebecca colliazzo if you know who she is say that this smells like the newest ariana grande perfume called god is a woman which also happens to be a clean fragrance i've never smelled that but this could be a good dupe Let's let me know down in the comments below if you tried God is a Woman by Ariana Grande and how it compares to this perfume if you've ever tried them side by side. Rain is a watery mask released in 2016 in Eau de Parfum Concentration inspired by a world renewed and refreshed after a lush rainfall. Top notes are bergamot, chilled cucumber, and water lily. Middle notes are dewy white flowers, cyclamen, and muguet. Base notes are patchouli, rainforest, vetiver, and clean mask. By itself, this one literally smells like dump earth or dump soil, if you will. I don't see myself wearing this on its own, but on my husband's skin, this did so well and smelled so good. Smelled more like vetiver and musks. I've paired this with every single scent in this um, set, and other than adding depth, and dimension to the fragrances this made them last a bit longer pairing this with warm cotton tones down the damp soil earthy smell the result smells so so great the last fragrance in this set is warm cotton this is a floral aldehyde a 2016 release in eau de parfum concentration inspired by feeling of deepest comfort and ultimate coziness that's irresistibly fresh and inviting top notes are aldehydes ginger and water accord middle notes are mint green pepper floral accord base notes are mask incense and vetiver on its own this smells a lot like a citrusy laundry detergent but pairing this with rain takes out that prominent detergent vibe making this more wearable this probably is my least favorite in this set none of these fragrances blew my mind away they are relatively simple linear fragrances definitely created to be layered mixed and matched i would say though that all of these fragrances i can see myself wearing by themselves except for maybe rain and warm cotton they had to be layered but other than radiant nectar and lash floor all these fragrances smelled best when layered with other fragrances in the line i can see these fragrances as a young teenager's first perfume perfume for people People with sensitive noses, parents of young children, for teachers and healthcare professionals who may want to wear a fragrance that's discreet enough to not offend patients, clients, and people at work, but still smell great. From this set, my top two favorites are Skin and Radiant Nectar. These two are the most interesting to me and also full bottle worthy. 
I've tried some of the pairings and my favorite to pair are Radiant Nectar and Rain. These are soft fragrances and light and they don't linger too long so this will all make for good bedtime scents. But if my top fragrances you can wear to bed are Skin and Warm Cotton. Layered with rain, of course, because I can't wear these two by themselves. And the two fragrances most suitable for daytime high heat and humidity are Aqua Neroli and Lush Floor. I hope you found this video useful, especially for you guys who have hypersensitivity reactions to fragrances. As a matter of safety, please discontinue use if you develop any form of reaction to any fragrance or substance. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!